I do it now solely as a creative expression. Yeah. I'm not looking for any commercial adventure. It's it's done, and and that's why it's not it's it's less com uh, formal than I used to do. And I'm planning to become more extreme next season. Uh, next season. A lot of London-based designers choose to show in different places. So they'll go to New York or Paris. But you all have always remained faithful to London. Why is that? Well, basically, London is good value. London is fun. London is... It's made easy, I must say, thanks to London Fashion Week and the organisers, they, they don't interfere, they just get on, they're not too many rules, and being Irish, rules, and we all have a breakdown, you know. So, um, but uh, it's not that I wouldn't consider showing in Milan or Paris, I have shown in New York and it's a very tough battle, but um, you know, it just makes sense. Yeah. And going back to the collection, can you give us the inspiration, what was the inspiration behind this? Well, the, 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 the inspiration was I was I was on a flight from London to Vietnam. I switch on some some of the channels. I watch some of the movies, and then I go, okay, I'll I'll I'll, I'll watch um, um, Mad Mad Max Fury. And I thought, God, there's something I quite like the women in it. You know, there were only a couple, and they were stranded out on a desert. And I thought, you know what? I like that idea. These wonderfully graceful women out on a desert. How can I dress them up, but still keep that rough edge and keep that kind of aggressiveness? And oddly enough, by sheer mistake, it, it's also a salute to non-white models, which, which I which I did totally because it was right for for the collection, not for any other reason.